Heavy clashes are continuing in Mariupol in that steel plant in Ukraine. Civilians are among those who have been trapped there for weeks. Meanwhile, we're learning more about the role the U.S. is playing in helping Ukraine. NBC's Bree Jackson is in Washington with the latest. Good morning, Jason. Rhonda, the Defense Department says intelligence shared by the U.S. helped Ukraine sink a Russian warship last month. And as fighting continues, the First Lady is traveling to Eastern Europe to show support for Ukraine. Dramatic video from the Ukrainian National Guard shows destruction at the Mariupol steel plant. A Ukrainian commander says bloody battles are being fought as the country works to fend off Russia's attacks. We still see Mariupol under siege from bombardment. Um, through airstrikes uh, predominantly. The Pentagon confirms U.S. intelligence shared with Ukrainians helped sink the flagship of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, an embarrassing setback for Vladimir Putin. But officials deny reports that real-time battlefield intelligence that the U.S. provided Ukraine led to the killings of Russian generals. We do not provide intelligence on the location of senior military leaders on the battlefield or participate in the targeting decisions of the Ukrainian military. Congress is considering sending an additional $33 billion worth of aid to Ukraine, including more weapons like the U.S. howitzers, despite Russia's attempts to disrupt the supplies shipped from the West. We continue to have uh, the unimpeded ability to flow uh, weapons uh, and security assistance into Ukraine. Assets seized from Russian oligarchs will also help to fund assistance for Ukraine. The First Lady traveling to Eastern Europe to meet with mothers and children forced to flee. It's so important to the president and to me that the Ukrainian people know that we stand with them. And get an up-close look at the largest refugee <laughs> crisis since World War II. The First Lady will meet with U.S. troops and NATO leaders in Romania today, then spend Mother's Day with Ukrainian refugees in Slovakia. Both countries border Ukraine. In Washington, I'm Bree Jackson for Local 4 News Today.